Hi everyone, merhaba, this is Ayşenur Altan. In this episode, I'm taking you to my favorite Turkish delights and sweet shops in Istanbul. We're gonna take a closer look to different kind of Turkish delights and sweets, the story behind, how they make it, how you can understand the best Turkish delights, what are the basic ingredients and more. So let's get started. Early that day near lunchtime, I randomly got to a shop and bought some rice and chicken. I got my package here. We, I'm gonna try it outside because you cannot eat here. Let's go. I'm very lucky I found another place. Hmm. Very good. You can watch the whole episode as the first part of this series from the links. After a nice street food lunch, we walk around Bayram Pasha area and I remember that it was very close to my favorite sweet shop. I came to my favorite uh, sweet shop. Zambak Şekerleme. Let's go inside and take a look. The shop is opened since 1958. The owner continues to make the candies and Turkish delights after his father. These are some different kind of candies we call Akide Şekeri. They also sell coffee. And these are famous Turkish delights, lokum. They have plain and rose flavored Turkish delights and also with hazelnuts and pistachios. This is helva, they have different kinds, another type of sweet. And here are some pictures of their history. This is his father and the first sweet shop in Bursa Inegöl. He says that the shop is still there. If you go, you can see it. O kıvam inan birçok yerde denedim. Yani bunun Olsun. gibi olmuyor. O yumuşak biliyorum. Kıvamını göstereceksiniz. Evet, evet. Şu 4 ay dursun. Üstten gevrek yapar, kabuk yapar. Hı. İçi aynıdırıyor, bozmuyor. Hmm. Neden da... peki? O kıvamı yakalamak. Bir saf şeker. Hı hı. İkincisi. E, reçetesi farklı. Allah Allah. Şöyle miyiz ya? Sadece. 7-8 lira, 9 lira lokum satıyor. Nasıl yapıyorlar onu? İşte e, lokumun suyunu tutan bir madde var, bir koz var. Ha. Bir limon tutun fazla kadar olur. E, Buharlaştırmadan sıkıtıyor. So it means you have to really know where you are going to buy Turkish delights and the taste difference is really high when you compare the one with glucose syrup and pure sugar. And now it's time to see where they make this delicious Turkish delights lokums. Hmm, harika hazırda zaten yumuşacık. Çünkü geçmişler. Bu buladığınız nişasta mı? Pudra şekeri karışık mı? Nişasta ve pudra şekeri karışık. Karışık. Tamam. Gel. Hı? Ay çok Biz güzel. Bu böyle döküyor. Hmm. Bu fıstık ve bu gülü. Evet. Şimdi Hazır abi. Hazır abi. He. Burada e, biraz soğuyor döktükten biraz sonra. Sekiz e, saat. Sekiz saat döktükten sonra. Soğuk üzerine güzel gel soğumuyor. Hmm. Böyle bir özelliği var. Anladım. Ne batık ediyor? Bu bir çöpten de çalışıyor. Ha evet. Ha bu kalan parçaları. Kalan parçaları. Onları ne yapıyorsun? Kazan atıyor. Ha tekrar Bunlar eriyor. Saat kaç olacak ama bir göz olsa olmaz. Hmm, tamam, o zaman. Eğmiyor ki. Doğru. O bir saatim var. 
Oradan tekrar yapılıyor. Hı hı. Hı hı. Bu da kazan. Bakır kazan. Şu pastamız yapamıyor. Okay, now it's time to get our delicious lokums. I decided to have one kilogram mixed of rose flavored and plain ones, but I learned that. The uh, rose ones are softer. I didn't know uh, they cook it a bit harder the uh, plain ones because some people prefers that. But actually, I like the uh, soft way. So if you happen to come here and buy, I suggest you try first and then decide which one to buy. And my suggestion would be a rose flavored one and of course with. Either hazelnuts and pistachios. And these are my friends. Another type of uh, sweet, which is helva. Uh, this is summer helva. We call it yaz helvası. And this one has more uh, tahini. They have these different textures. Uh, the summer helva. The darker one is uh, has more like caramel color and taste. They both delicious. And this one with package is more like a candy version of the uh, summer helva. They were all delicious, but this uh, tahini helva just melts in your mouth that I couldn't even eat right away. Hmm, çok güzel. Ha ha şimdi bu. Evet. E bunu da burada mı yapıyorsunuz? Kazanmıyorsun. Lokum kazanma oyunlar. Evet aynı yine. Ha. Hayır bir gün size yani bir çırak olarak gelsem <gülüyor> çeksem o arada. It was a beautiful sunny day of late November and carrying delightful candies on my side we continue to walk around Bayram Pasha streets. Here is another chicken and rice shop. Here in this shop they sell frozen mantı. And I'm excited to say that I filmed the mantı recipe. It's on the way. Stay tuned. Another famous street food chee köfte. I already shared the recipe. Check from the links. Here is another shop with dried herbs and uh, teas. It also has grape leaves. It is used to make dolmas, sarmas either with uh, meat stuffing or only with rice and some spices. And I showed you how you can store these delicious grape leaves from fresh to use year long. And here is another one of the essential ingredients in Turkish cuisine, tomato and red pepper paste. And guess what? You can make your own tomato and red pepper paste too. Look at these colorful copper 
pans and teapots. I wish I entered this shop. Hopefully, maybe next time. While wandering around the streets, I stumbled upon this sweet shop with its eye-catching showcase. They have traditional sweets like tulumba, kabak tatlısı, pumpkin dessert, halka tatlısı, which is another fried dessert, They also have cheese helva, peynir helvası and tirleçe which is another light and a caramel dessert along with of course baklava, şekerpare and many more. We decided to buy some tulumba from there. And actually it was the fifth kind of dessert we bought that day. So my friends, in a way, it was a sweet, delightful day I had. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Please do share your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to like and share my videos if you like them. I have many vlogs about Istanbul, street food and recipes. Some of them featuring the desserts you saw in this video. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish food recipes and travel vlogs. Afiyet olsun.